what is going on everybody and in today's video we're gonna be looking at factory design pattern and for those of you who do not know what is a design pattern it's basically a general repeatable solution for a commonly occurring problem in a software development the factory design pattern can be implemented in many programming languages it provides a way to create objects without specifying the exact class of object that will be created very good example that I will show you is a coffee shop. It will create our function, which is gonna be a product. And this function will take a name and type as a parameter. And basically what we will do is this dot name equals to name. This dot type equals to type. Okay. Now we need to create a function that is gonna be a tea or coffee and coffee, not or. Let's do it. So we've got function and we'll call it a tea and which will take a parameter as a name. And now we have product. So we'll call our function product. Okay, product dot call. And we will refer to this, which is our T then we will take a name which we will passing later on and then the type which is a t great okay now we will create the same function but with coffee so we have got coffee which we will take a name product.call we made a typo no okay product.call this name and then this is gonna be a coffee great now we need to create a function that will actually generate our objects so how are we gonna do it we'll create a function uh, which will call it coffee shop so coffee shop maybe i've got needs two e <laughs> hopefully okay so coffee shop and which will take nothing as a parameter but here we need to create the object so we will do this dot create and then this is gonna be a function which will take the name and the type as a parameter and then we need to create a switch statement so switch which will take the type and now we need to we have got case number one which for instance can be t so case number one is t and we will return uh we'll return our t so we can do new t so we'll return a new object and then we'll break it okay great so i will just like this and now we have case number two which is we're gonna be returning our coffee amazing okay great so we'll break it and what we will do now is to create a instance which is gonna be a coffee shop and which is gonna be a new coffee shop so a new instance great and we will create a storage where we're gonna store our data so storage which is gonna be in this this case just only empty array nothing else and now we're gonna create uh, our products so we'll call the storage and we'll push stuff inside the storage and we'll take our instance so our instance is coffee shop dot create and what do you want to create you want to create a green tea which is going to be type of a tea which is one right here Okay, so now let's create the coffee. So storage dot push. 
so coffee shop dot create and here we have for instance brazil beans which is gonna be case two so i will explain it again storage dot push will pushing everything to our array this coffee shop is our instance of our function coffee shop which generates objects we creating it dot create so we want to create object with a green t which is case number one which is a t and we'll break it and then the same for our coffee now let's just test it out so i will just create a function uh, that will log out log like this and that function will take um the function will take our products so our product and now we want to console log it template literals uh, in our storage we have so we have uh, this um, product dot name um, and then product dot name and which is let's do let's say which is type product dot type okay and now we need to loop through it because it's in our array so let's do it so we do storage dot for each and then this is gonna be our uh, we're gonna call the function which is gonna be our lock okay let's go gonna go through it again so we have got our function product which takes name and type and we call the function every time we create uh, a new product product.call this which refers to our instance of t name and t which name we are passing it just right here and this is a type then we have got function that creates our object and that's pretty much it okay let's run it here we go in our storage we have undefined great so where we made a mistake okay um product name we have this dot name this dot type okay return break name uh this new coffee i see so we need to just pass function name and type so we are passing type but we are missing the name here apology so return new t with uh, our name okay that should work yep so we have in our storage we have green tea which is type t in our storage we have brazil beans which is type coffee and it's really great to have this uh, function because now we want to create another product we just copy our function like this and for instance we have a chocolate powder and chocolate uh, powder so we create our function we specify the type and then we just create a new case which is gonna be case free and we will return um, new uh, da, 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 da. let's do it this way and we pass the name which is gonna break it break okay uh do, 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 do. where did i make a mistake coffee beans type coffee uh i need to create it forgot so storage dot push coffee shop dot create and then let's say chocolate powder and uh, which is gonna be a case free great so that should work 
Yep, so we have in our storage, we have chocolate powder, which is type chocolate powder. And super easy way, organized way how to create objects. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Peace.